So for the next couple of weeks, we're looking at ratio and proportion. And we're starting out with finding percentages uh, of an amount, because a percentage is a proportion of something. So that's where it all ties in together. Um, so today we're finding 10%, 25%, 50%, and 75% of an amount. Okay, so I've set a few things up here just to help us. Um, I've gone back to our key FDP. You remember FDP? It stands for fractions, decimals, percentages. Okay, because they always have a relationship going on together. They, they're equivalent. And I've just to remind us, so we've got 25% is the same as a quarter, is the same as 0 0.25 in decimals. Okay, you can see that blinks straight away, can't you? 50% is a half, which is the same as 0 0.5. And 75% is three quarters, the same as 0 0.75. And then 100%, remember percent actually means out of 100%. So 100% is the same as the whole, which is the same as one. Okay, and there they go. Hopefully it might help us in a little bit anyway. But uh, finding 10% is really key uh, because if we can find 10%, then we can go on from there. We can find 20, 30, 40 and so on and then even some more as well um, but just to start with then I've set up my 10% question here so 10% 10 of 40 what is 10% of 40 so uh, I've, if we imagine this is 40 altogether yeah and I've split it into tens there all right just so some we're trying to find just 10% all right, um, so that multiplied 10 times will make 40. And that might give you a clue. If it's multiplied 10 times to make 40, then you can divide 40 by the 10 to work out what 10% is. Okay, so we're going to be doing 40 divided by 10. Now, a lot of you get to that straight away, but the kind of maths behind it is quite important. Yeah, because we can move on from numbers like 40 to any number, really, and then divide back. We can always find 10% because we know how to divide by 5. Okay. And then if I set up this quickly, if I, if I rub that out. Yeah, because if we remember when we're, if we have a place value group, we'll have decimals there, decimal point there, we'd have our ones column, our tens hundreds and then we'll have our tenths here hundreds just to help us okay let's let's say in fact I'm gonna put that line straight through just to help do, do. okay so if we have a number like 40 we've got four in our tens and a zero in the ones column if we're dividing it by ten then we're making it ten times smaller all right, so our digits go back, yeah. Our digits move this way, or the decimal point moves that way, whichever way you want to think about it. But the kind of the decimal point moves, and we're making that number 10 times smaller. So 40 divided by 10 becomes 4, okay. And then if we wanted to divide 40 by 10, it would, yeah, it would become 4 would go here, wouldn't it? And that'd be 0 0.4. Okay, so just quick recap, dividing by tens, and tens and hundreds and thousands are all the same. Let's say we had oh, 140, so we want to divide it by 100. Well, that, that would be divided by 10, and this would be divided by 100, because we've moved, now we've moved it two in our place value chart, two, two columns. Okay, we can use it, we could have a placeholder, it might be now time to get rid of that. Okay. So that's dividing by 10. So if I go very quickly back then, so we have 40 divided by 10. Yeah, you see, shift our digits. Okay. And we've got four. Okay. So each one of these would be worth four. That'd be four, 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 four. All the way to the end. And then 10 lots of that four get you back up to 40.
So 10% for 40 is 4. And we could try, oh, try 60 if we had to, if we did have to find 66 and we needed 10% of 66. Okay. Take this back. Do, do, do. 66 goes in there. 10%. Divide it by 10. There we go. Voila. 6.6. .6. All right. So. Now, as you can see, if you can find 10%, then you can go on to 20, 30, 40%, which is what we will move on to a bit more tomorrow. But there's a, your 10%. Okay. Now, but we also need to find 50% and 25 and 75. So, let's do 50%. Yeah, so, so remember this is 40. Yeah, all together. And then to find, so if you remember, 50% is half, yes, a half, so straight down the middle. No way of finding half is dividing by 2, isn't it? So we've got 40 divided by 2 this time, which a lot of you very quickly will see. 40 halves or divided by 2 is 20. Okay, so we have 50%, 20 there, and the other 50% there, okay. So I didn't write my answer up here, did I? It's four. And then fifty percent of forty equals twenty. Okay. So twenty-five percent. Aha. So there's two ways. Yeah, and I'm sure you can see them both very quickly. If we found fifty percent, yeah, that's we found 50%, haven't we, at the moment? Yes, just here, it was 20. Or just there, it's 20. 25% is half a game, isn't it? 20% is half a game, so we can split this in, split your 50% in half, and we know very quickly, yeah, 25% would be 10. Another 25%, another 25%, another 25%. Okay, then in that same way, you've now also found, because you can find 25% from 50%, you can find 75% by using your 50%, 20, and adding 25%. Okay, so, um, to, we, sorry, we found 25% of 40 equals 10. And therefore, 75% is the same as 50% plus 25%, which in this case is, so 50% was 20, 25% is 10. So, and our answer is 30. Okay, so that finding 10%, 50%, 25% and 75%, okay, which is our today's questions. Um, they all start on 60, but there is a do it task today as well, which will give you a bit more fluency practice on finding those very specific 10%, um, 50%, 25%, 75%. Okay, I'm going to do another video for the kind of the solver problems questions, which are at the bottom of here, okay. So, good luck today. Enjoy. Another quick thing to say just before I go. <laughs> You'll see at the bottom here there is one. 10%. We usually say of. Yeah, but sometimes it can be written as times. Okay. And it just is replacing that of. Okay. But you're still finding 10% of the amount. Okay. Good luck.